Hi, Dr. Joe here. I'm not a real doctor. I'm a sewing and vacuum cleaner specialist, but I wanted to talk about a, a myth that's out there being promoted by a real doctor, some guy out of the UK, and he's telling people that there's fiberglass in these vacuum cleaner bags. And I have a simple little test. We call it a heat test. I'm going to turn on this heat gun and we're going to put it on this fiberglass. And we're going to do it with this hand so I don't get stickers in there. Doesn't do a lot. Kind of burns it a little. I took a Kirby bag here. We're going to do the same thing. I cut it open, but you can see it's a totally different material. Here's a Mila bag. These are melt-blown polypropylene, which is an interesting filter material because what makes it special is the polypropylene um, has a static charge to it inherently. It's kind of like a pair of, pair of pantyhose. If you put a pair of pantyhose in, in the dryer and you neglect to put uh, any fabric softener in there, boy, it'll really stick to some of the other clothes particularly if you have my polypropylene long johns in there. Okay, so here's the, the Mila bag. And it has multiple layers. They tell me it has nine, but I don't see but about three. Um, what's interesting about this stuff is because it does melt, you can weld it together by heat. But it is not fiberglass. That's not true. And the fact that... Um, it makes a really good filter is why they use them in vacuum cleaners. So now we're going to do some tests. I'm going to turn on my laser particle counter here and let's see if I can get this cord out of the way so it's not in the middle of the video. Yep, there's a laser particle counter. So what I've done with this laser particle counter, I took a block of wood and I drilled a hole in it. This is why we don't let neurophysicists do this stuff. You need to be a MacGyver to make this work. Okay, so we put a block of wood on here and we're going to measure how much dirt is just floating around in the room. Hang up my heat gun. Okay, we're going to do big particles at 5 micron and we will do HEPA size at 0.3 microns. Can we see that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, floating around in the room we have about 120,000 particles per cubic foot. So we're going to put some filters on there. Um, I'm going to start with the NOSH N95 mask. So we're going to put this on here and hold it down. That's going to simulate our face. So it dropped down to 78,000. We have to suck all the dirty air out of it because the room had 130,000 in it. So now we're down to 54,000, 66. So that's a pretty good range, somewhere between 54 and, and uh, 76. Okay. So here's the one that I made out of the vacuum cleaner bag. And we're going to put it on here. We're going for 54 to 66 to be a HEPA filter or a NOSH 95. Okay, we're at 160, 109, 65. We already beat it. 39, quite a bit better. 36. I hope you can see that. Yeah, that's pretty readable. 34, 49, 34. So we're around 34. So, so I'll put it back here so that you can get an overview of how it works. And the, the way I designed this was, one of the things we found out that was interesting was we tried sewing this, and when you sewed it together, you destroyed the ability to filter because a... a, a a hepa-sized particle is 200 times smaller than a hair, and a needle, if we have a size, 
uh, 100 needle, well this is a 90 needle, a 90 needle, it is 0.9 millimeters across, so it's like hundreds of times bigger than a hair. So you throw a hole in it, you've ruined your filter. Oh, curiosity's sake, let's see what happens when we put a couple layers of cotton on it. This is a cotton poly blend. Okay, 1.5. I disturbed a lot of dirt in the room here. 430,000. 193. 93. 114,000. 48,000. 53,000. So we're, we're pretty comparable. 63,000. It's not horrible. 43,000. Here's a a Nosh 95 that's been used. I want to see what it does. Okay, 254,000, 164, 153, 112, 84, 95, 88, 78. It's still filtering. 98. It's not quite as good as the uh, the clean new one. Got quite a bit of sawdust in it. Okay. Now let's try a Mila bag. Okay, can we read that? Hundred and oh, fifteen thousand, twelve thousand, three thousand. Oh, well, this is really good. One thousand, one thousand five hundred and thirty-three, five hundred and fifty. Wow. Okay, that was pretty impressive. Five hundred and fifty. That was the that was the Mila. Air Clean FJM bag. So, in summary, I'm not a real doctor. I know more about vacuum cleaners than the doctor does. Neurophysicists don't necessarily know anything about vacuum cleaner filters. Uh, the face masks that are commercially available are uh, not much better than the ones that we make out of a vacuum cleaner bag. And no, vacuum cleaner bags do not have fiberglass in them. Thanks.